In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Kami as a whiteboard. So your Chromebook has a touch screen, which is nice. So if you bring up a blank Kami document, you can use a stylist or your finger. You can find Kami in your extensions. So up here in the little black puzzle piece, if you click on that and scroll down, you will find Kami for Google Chrome. So I'm going to click on that. There are a ton of really cute templates that you can op open up and then annotate on those, like this little graffiti wall. Or you can just, if you just want a blank piece of paper, you can click under Create and choose New Page. It will ask you how many pages you want. I'm going to choose Landscape. You can also have a lined paper with paper type. You can choose Blank. But you can also choose a lined paper. You can have a grid. So if you're doing some math, there's even music sheets. Um, so there's a lot of um, options here. Uh, and there's even, there's browse more templates. So if you want to get creative, you could look at that. So I'm just going to choose um, grid paper. And I'm going to choose add. So I'm going to show you how you can work out a math problem. So I'm going to choose drawing. I'm going to choose, I'll choose purple, and you can choose the thickness of your pen. I'm going to choose two, but you can play around with what you want. Now, I have a stylus, I know you can't see me, <laughs> but I have a stylus, and it's just a pen with like the rubber tip on the end, but you could also use your finger. Um, and then I can simply, I'm pushing on my Chromebook touchscreen and 4 plus 4 equals 8. Now, it's showing that I haven't named or saved this. So it is important that you, when you see this pop up, that you choose Save to Google Drive. There we go. And it's called grid.pdf up here. But I can change that to um, sample. So you always want to name your stuff, so I'm just going to call it sample. I can also change the color and circle different parts. And I'm just using my finger here as I do this. Um, you could add shapes to your drawing. So that's pretty cool. And when I touch it, it's sticky. So if I touch it, it thinks that I want to do another triangle, so um, I didn't want to, so I want to go to the erase, and I want to erase those. Um, so I can just go in. I'm just using my finger, and I'm scrubbing the screen there. Oh, I don't want to erase that one. Can I erase that? Okay. Um, so it is sticky, so you want to make sure, you know, you want to be aware of what you are on. So if you're in drawings, you're going to be able to draw. If I'm in shapes, it's going to continue to make triangles every time I touch the screen with my finger or my stylist. So that is how you can annotate with Kami. Now I can also, let me show you how you can add another page, is if you scroll so you can see the top, and then let's say I want to add another page because I want to continue. You can choose portrait or landscape. So I'm going to keep it landscape, but this time I just want to blank. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Oops. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to add another page. And for this one, I just want a blank piece of paper. I don't want the, the lined anymore. So you have to change it, and then I could click Add. And now, and now I have a blank piece of paper. And then over here, I can choose, um, I can just navigate by scrolling up and down. So that's how you can use Kami as a whiteboard and grab a stylist bring it up and you know if you're displaying this to your students with Airtame or CleverShare you could be um, marking this up on the display. All right have a great day.